John Deere is taking legal action against its employees, trying to calm the large crowds outside its plants. Both sides faced off inside a Polk County courtroom today. WHO 13's Taj Simmons was there as well. Everyone's now waiting on a ruling. That's right, and some people are waiting for the strike itself to end, but this is a sign that John Deere and the United Auto Workers Union are likely as far apart now as they were on day one. Instead of working together to resolve the issues which led to the strike, they're now fighting in court about the strike itself. And just like their initial disagreement, this battle does not have a conclusion yet. How many picketers is too many during a strike? If you ask John Deere, the answer is more than four at any gate. The UAW have the right to strike and picket, but it must be done in a, in a peaceful, safe, and lawful manner. Their convictions led directly to this courtroom showdown. Deere's lawyers challenged Polk County to enforce their belief at its Des Moines Works facility. The United Auto Workers Union considers it an unfair attack. To try to get this court to exercise the state's police power to enjoin us from our, our lawful right to picket. As the strikers continue to picket in Ankeny, both sides try to make their point before the judge. John Deere claims the crowds are a risk to block traffic and intimidate third party contractors and use surveillance video for proof. Deere is the one suffering the harm because it's a, its entrance being blocked. And when it is happening this repeatedly and is not being resolved. On the other side, the UAW's legal team called witnesses to its defense. They claim there have been no violent incidents outside the facility and outlined the rigorous standards picketers have to follow. The people are moving, not standing still, that they're obeying the laws and that they're not holding up traffic. After an hour and a half of debate, the judge decided not to decide, but promised he would make his verdict soon. You, you guys have moved to the front of the line. I'll, I'll give you that, okay? That means the picket lines in Ankeny will stay strong for at least another day. The two sides also battered in court over a warehouse John Deere operates that's also in Ankeny. Deere wants to keep demonstrators away from that warehouse since they claim not to own it, but the UAW says they are picketing it because some job duties depend on that warehouse. Since the judge did not decide on this either, like all the rest of the disputes, this remains unresolved. Okay, thanks for the update, Taj.